of this prestigious spring meeting at Keeneland. But as we heard, doesn't have to win here today. It's about winning at Royal Ascot after this start. So let's see how it plays out. What a moment here. A field of seven three-year-old fillies to go a mile and a sixteenth. Here is Kurt Becker with the call. They're at the post. And they're off in the central bank Ashland Stakes. Carlo Vivare broke alertly, and so did Lotta Lovin. These two come to the front of the opening strides. Dixie Strike away running in third. Hard Not to Like away in fourth. Stephanie's Kitten fifth up on the outside as they enter the first turn. Then Heart of Destiny, who's against the rail next to last. Gold Rush Girl, the early trailer. She's five lengths from the front, and Carlo Vivare will set the tempo. Carlo Vivare against the rail, leading Lotta Lovin by three parts of a length around the first turn. Hard Not to Like between horses third ahead. Dixie Strike, ground saving trip, fourth against the rail around that first turn. Flanked by Stephanie's Kitten, who's three wide off the turn, onto the back stretch in the fifth spot, three lengths off the lead, then a gap of nearly three more, back to Heart of Destiny, next to last, Gold Rush Girl, the trailer, 24 and one-fifth seconds, the time for the opening quarter. Carlo Vivari leads it by three parts of a length, midpoint of the back stretch, and Lotta Lovin is just off the leader's flank in second, still Dixie Strike, and hard not to like, side by side for that third spot, joined by Stephanie's Kitten on the far outside, who continues to travel, three to four lengths off the lead, but now starts moving up on the outside, into the fourth position heart of destiny and then gold rush girl last they got the first half mile in 48 and four fifth seconds and carlo vivari leads the field midway on the far turn it is still lot of loving who's second toward the outside she's been there since the start stephanie's kitten at the quarter pole is third on the outside three lengths away hard not to like being ridden along now looking for an opening at the top of the stretch and hard not to like swings toward the outside coming after carlo vivari final furlong at the center Central Bank Ashland, Carlo Vivari hanging tough, opening back up by two and a half legs. Hard not to like his second. Stephanie's Kitten is third, and it's going to be a front running victory for Carlo Vivari and jockey James Graham in the Central Bank Ashland. Hard not to like was second. Stephanie's Kitten was home third. The time, one minute, 44 and four fifth seconds. An upset in the Central Bank Ashland, although that's a common refrain, it seems like this time of year. 15 to 1. What a beautiful ride here by Jimmy Graham. No question about that. One of the biggest wins in his career here at Caneland is. Uh...